Today, I want to share with you a simple yet super delicious recipe from the island of Kefalonia for a roast pork and potatoes in the oven, one pan. So delicious, very easy to prepare. And it's one of these meals that you take, it takes you about 10 minutes to prepare and a couple of hours of just like roasting it off into perfect deliciousness. So first things first, I'm going to preheat our oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going and we can start working right away on our uh, main event or the star of our show, which is our pork. Here I got a four pound uh, piece of pork shoulder. You can use pretty much any cut of pork you want. It is totally fine. Now, in this, I am going to take very simply just a couple of pounds of potatoes and I'm just going to cut them in half, literally, and just scatter them throughout my, uh, throughout the pan. Nothing complicated at all. Perfect. Along with my potatoes, I'm going to take some carrot. Now, here's the thing. I don't really uh, peel my carrots. Just cut them into chunks and uh, just disperse them. And they add a really nice uh, color as, uh, as well to this. Same here with these. And you can add as many or as uh, few as you like. Totally not a big deal at all. I like carrots and they add a certain sweetness uh, when they're cooked, which is also a very good thing. So real quick, nothing to this at all. Boom, just like that. So already our plate or our meal is coming together. The next part of this is actually starting to season it up and flavor it. So what I'm going to do is, I, obviously I'm going to use some garlic and I'm not even going to uh, peel my garlic. Literally, I'm just going to take my cloves. I think maybe three or four cloves, five cloves. And I'm just going to nestle them in and around my pork and my potatoes. So that way, it'll just get the essence. And then once they're finished baking or roasting off, these are going to be little like packets of like flavor. Believe me. So now, I'm going to take a little bit of my Greek extra virgin olive oil, of course, and I'm just going to just go fairly generous on this all around, just like that. I'm going to take rosemary, dried rosemary, and I'm going to put it everywhere. So for this in here, I would do a generous tablespoon of dried rosemary. I'm going to take paprika. And again, all over, it gives it a nice uh, earthy uh, smokiness to our meal. Salt and pepper, of course, you can't go do without this. So you can go heavy on the salt. It can handle it totally fine. Pepper, perfect, just like that, everywhere. And this is one of these meals, you put it, like in the oven, it takes two hours and then you're done. A little bit of white wine for the moisture. So that's going to go in there like that. And I'm also going to grab some water, pour in there. This will give us our moisture that we need. And of course, the juice of one lemon is going to go in this all around. And it's going to add such a beautiful contrast, a hit of flavor, acidity, and that's exactly what we want here. All right, so let me move this here. I'm going to cover this now with aluminum foil. And very simply, pop this into my 400 degree oven for two hours. And I'm just going to forget about it. I'm going to go on about my business. And these are meals that I love because A, they're in one pot or one pan. And B, because they have a fairly slow cooking time, you can do other stuff throughout the day. And you don't have to worry or be pressed for time. So, that's it. In this is going to go. And I'll see you back here in a couple of hours. All right, so this is 
literally out of the oven. It's been about two hours and 15 minutes. I baked it off or roasted it off for two hours covered. And then I took off the cover and I let it go for another 15 minutes or so just to get some color. And it is absolutely done to perfection. Everything is perfect. My pork has just completely, completely uh, tenderized. My potatoes are crispy on the outside, light and fluffy on the inside. My carrots have caramelized and sweetened up. Now it's time to test. All right, let's try one by one here. Look at this, this is absolutely perfect. Oh, yeah, baby, look at this. Carrot, it's like baby food. Mm. 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 That is so good. The wine, the white wine just absolutely goes through everything. I'm going to take a little piece of potato here, just like that. Again, very light, very, very fluffy. That's where I always burn myself. Mm. Mm. So good. And now look at this. Look at this. Literally, like I said, it just like flakes off. Mmm. 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 This is just such a flavor, such a beautiful flavor. A symphony of flavors. So my friends, that's it for this episode on my roasted pork, potatoes, and carrots from Kefalonia. Very easy, very simple dish. One pan, start to finish. Super delicious. You can feed a crowd. And as far as skill goes, it is very, very, very easy. I thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit that like button if you like this video. I hope you did. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. For this recipe and so many others, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, much love from Greece, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.